All right, friends, my next guest, Jay Shauna, is at odds with an ex-best friend over a business deal gone bad. Lene was supposed to be Jay Shauna's manager, but Jay Shauna recently fired her. Let's all listen to the voice memo that Jay Shauna left Lene two weeks ago. I can't keep reminding you to do the that you're supposed to do. I need a manager who is going to, who is going to be like, okay, this, who's actually going to listen to me, who's going to make a plan, who is going to give me a plan because I need plans. If you cannot work with an artist who needs plans, then you cannot work with me. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. You cannot be my manager if you cannot handle plans. And you can also not be my manager if you ever, ever, ever fix your lips to tell me that you have control over my music. No, you don't. No, you don't, Lene. Ooh, Jay Shauna, that was an intense voicemail. So please tell me from your point of view what happened. So first of all, I said what I said, and I regret nothing. Um, the situation is basically, you know, me and Lene have been friends for a while, and we started working together. She was supposed to be my manager, supposedly my manager. And it's not giving that. I'm not getting my content. I'm not getting paperwork signed. I'm not getting any of the things I feel like I need as a client. Mm, got it. So why do you need a manager? First of all, Karamo, if nobody knows, I'm the last poet. And it's not my fault I'm lyrical. I'm good with words and verbs and spinning up a parable. I probably personified a type of boss that's gelling you. So that's why. Because I'm... Work, it was cute. I'm, that, I'm, that went right in. <laughs> that was cute. OK, no, I live. But like, oh, and that's me. And the thing is, really, like, I'm, I'm invested in my craft now. I quit yeah. my job in February to do what I love full time. Mm -hmm. I need a team behind me that's going to support me but only if they're going to do it right. Got it. And so you said that Lene refused to sign a contract? Carmo, I wish refused was the word I would use. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go in and say disregard it completely. I sent it when we first started working together maybe three-ish months ago. Reminders, uh, text messages, sent it again maybe about a month ago. Mm -hmm. And it's just not even getting acknowledged. Like, do I matter? Am I a client? I don't know. So then why did you resend it if you already saw that she wasn't responding? Because I just feel like, I feel like I really care about her, Karamo. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even deal with people. I don't like nobody, but I love her. So, in my mind, <laughs> seriously, in my mind, I'm feeling like, okay, I don't want to just lash out. I don't want to just be negative. Let me try and be solution-oriented, but I, I feel like that it just doesn't work. Like, it is tearing me apart to try and keep inside how I really feel about the situation just to protect her feelings. It's not fair to me. So what caused you to leave that voice memo then? I dropped a song called No Features maybe about two-ish weeks ago. We recorded a video for that song two months ago. Haven't asked about it, assumed she was working on it, whatever. I asked her, I said, well, when do you think it's gonna be done? And she said, Sundays. Well, Sunday came and went. It was not done. When I sent that, it started out, it started out You're like... You're at your wit's end by that point. Right, and it started out again with the same question, when? So how did you meet Lene? Take me back. So I met Lene in... I want to say maybe 2018, 2017, um, at a Rico Nasty concert. Mm. So she was there as, I think, a manager of some of the dancers. And I was there. I had just gotten, like, a free ticket because I know people. Yeah. Um, and we ended up outside together, you know, just chilling, talking. And from there, we became friends. So this is the timeline of how you met. 2018, Rico Nasty yes. concert. Yes, oh, good. I'm glad you 2019. have this. 2019, oh. I'm glad you have this. Okay. So boom. So boom. Okay. So good. So 2018 was right. We met at the Rico Nasty concert, right? So in 2019, I started my company, Tune In Space Out Media, right? And we do a lot of stuff, but that's not relevant to the story. So I quit my job in February in part with the understanding that Lene would be my support. Okay. She, she wasn't. So in June, yes, receipts, I sent her the contract the first time, the first time, and it's the same contract for all her clients. September, I send it again with a little note in the text that's like, hey, top of your to-do list, sign the contract, super simple, takes two seconds, nothing. So after I sent that voice note, I don't like to argue. So once I felt myself getting that mad, I just blocked her. And Got I blocked it. her every account. I don't care. The reason I asked for this timeline from talking to you and my producers is because it's important to know exactly what, when this started, how long this has been going on, and see what's happening. So what do you want Lene to know? Karamo, I need you to drop a truth bomb on her that she cannot and will not be my manager. It's not a good fit. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's clear already.
That's what I'm saying, but she don't understand that. I think it's time that we hear from Jay Shauna's manager, Lene. Ex-manager. Ex-manager, Lene. Everyone, please welcome Lene to the show. You know what I was dealing with. I lost, the, my kid's dad was murdered. Oh, so sorry to hear that. My husband walked out on me. I'm going through a divorce, same month. Every day, I'm fighting for my, I almost lost it all. You know all that stuff that I'm dealing with. So to put that type of time pressure, different things on me, bro, you know you needed to give me a second. A second. Time pressure? It's like, bro. Time pressure? Hold up, hold up, I'm still talking. I'm still talking. As a friend, as a sister, you already know what I deal with every day. And you know you're gonna get your stuff. You know what I do with you every day? You know you're going to get but your do you know content. What I do and to with... say that I took two Hold months on. to get your content. I didn't content. say that. That's not what I, I just said. heard you what say I it said... took two months okay, no. what for I you said... to get that video. Lene, what I we didn't even to you film was... that After two months ago. I said ago. in two months I wasn't worried about it. And when I was ready to drop it, I asked you, when are you going to be done? And did I said I ever... Sunday. No, you... And then did it get done on Sunday, Lene? But what happened Sunday? I was at an artist showcase. And I said, hold on. I could have gotten home. You know I stay up all night to edit. I could have came home. Finish the edit and you would have had it, Lene, what, 5 a.m.? This, this is the same conversation Even, we already had. But I you got care. it when? You, and you were about to, get, you got it on Tuesday. It my, takes Lene, time. but this is my thing. Like, deadlines, for a video, deadlines, bro, come on. No, all it's not about the video. It looked like you even because, had so, a Lene, picture. I want to so, like, know from you. Can you please describe Jay Shauna as a client? <laughs> yeah, I see her, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay Shauna. <laughs> You can be a little hard uh, to work with at times. I'm hit. A little selfish. Yep. I have four other clients besides you. And I mean, I try to be patient because I love you. I try to work with you. You know what I mean? Because I believe in your work. And that's what I'm saying. You know the core of me believes well, in what I you're doing. Was day and night helping you with your business, though, and your clients, even when you weren't doing right by me? What? What? All the, my video what? What? services. I want to bring my audience in this, get your, your, your comments on this really quickly, because I want to talk to y'all and hear what y'all got to think about this. Because these are two friends. All right, so you are jazz, right? Yes, jazzy. Jazzy, excuse me, jazzy. So you, how do you, are you involved in all this? I'm involved in all of this because um, me and Lene are friends, and I'm also her senior assistant. So when Jay Shauna came to me on Sunday night, like, I need to give you the story. Mm -hmm. She came to me on Sunday night, and she basically told me she didn't want to work with Lene no more. She felt like she wasn't a best fit. I said, maybe you should drop her. Relationships are just like management. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Mm -hmm. I said, maybe you should drop it. Don't be in that. But as far as you working with us, she said, yeah. We had a shoot. I had a client for my talk show, Red Carpet Lounge. Jay Shauna was coming. Lene was coming. So then, after after that, Jay Shauna basically changed the passwords. Me and Lene are on the phone. We're trying to get into it. We got clients. We got bookings. We got all this going on. We can't see it because we now have no access. Why, why did you lock I'm, her I'm out? I'm sorry. You skipped some stuff, Jazzy. You skipped some stuff. What was the stuff? The, so, first of all, I, Lene wasn't supposed to come to the shoot. That was the end. How she is was, my was, shoot? Because you said, you said We changed the shooting. day because of, I was but in that's not the Pennsylvania with crazy Jazzy, I said to you, Jazzy, I, I, I said, think, I'm not going to leave thing, you. I think the biggest thing, though, is that I'm hearing, outside of, like, who put me a schedule, is that you locked them out of the account. So, why wait, did you so think that was appropriate? why did I lock you out of the account, Lene? Because what did you say to me? You, you, and I as your earlier. friend, yeah, you, you can have husband, the footage. If you give me a call. Me. And I said, no, because I, that's not what it is. It's not about friendship. It's about business. So I said, since you want to try and extort me, cool. Who's I'm extorting you? That's it's extortion. My that's ex it's not I shot it with my camera. All right, so listen, thank you so much for your perspective on this. I really appreciate it. And I gave the passwords back in literally less than Once 24 you got hours. Your video. Yes, and I didn't even get what you were already going to do. All right, what do you have to say about all this? Lene, if you was going through all this, Jay Shauna is not your friend. You do editing, right? You need to edit her right out your life. This is a big fight about nothing. Yeah. It's a big fight. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really confused. Like, it's a ball over to this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. This is a whole... Like, I don't understand here, and this, this is the truth of it. Y'all are fighting about nothing. I don't the truth bomb in this situation, y'all are fighting about nothing. This happened, yes. second time. So, yes, and the first time, but what happened the first time? I fired you, and then I didn't but fire this you the thing. Months. But here we go, here we go. This is the thing. At the end of the day, you have blocked her when it comes to business. You are done with business. So I unblocked her. I've tagged well, her on the well, video, uh, okay, given her credit. Well, okay, you're done with business. Yes. 
So if you're done with business, why are you still rehashing this? Because How is she, it serving you because to rehash I, this business? When I said to her very explicitly, I just want to know, we I just can be know friends. how is this serving you it's, to rehash this? It's literally not. I literally don't so want to rehash right it. Stop, stop right there, because that's the truth. Yeah. It's not serving your spirit. It is not serving your soul. And it it's not serving your, your artistry in any way. But y'all are friends. Mm -hmm. Why are you getting emotional right now? And let me just hear her out. Why are you getting emotional right now? Every time. Well, hold on. It's, it's because you, you get you make a choice as well. But let me go talk to her really quickly. Hold on. I got your top. What's going on? It's just a lot. Yeah. Because I already dealt with a lot. I'm like, I'm still trying to heal myself and also trying to be there for her. And it's like, she really did stop, like, being my friend, everything. And it's like, because so much happened to me this year, it's like, I attached that stuff with her as well. So the friendship really <laughs> meant something to me because she was there for, like, the hardest time of my life. Like, do you want a friendship? I do. That's my sister. Like, I'm not, this stuff is petty stuff to me. It's petty. It's like, it's taking up time. So like, what would it take for you right now? Because I can be here to support the communication. What do you need right now to feel like you can mean this and turn into a friendship? I just want like a clear understanding of who, you know, what she wants. Who I want her to really understand who I am. Can you establish and both, can you agree that y'all shouldn't be working together? Yeah, we shouldn't. Are you willing to come back out and let me try to work this out for y'all? All right, so you already heard me say the, the business relationship needs to be dead. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you, you heard what we were talking about backstage. Do you want a friendship? Yes. Okay, let's leave it right there. What do you need to have a friendship continue? All I needed was for you to keep it real that we are not a good business match, what you just said. If you listened to those voice notes, you would have heard in the last two, I started sobbing and saying, Lene, I don't want us to be like this. And you know that if I'm blocking she, you, it's she, not permanent. Well, she, well, that's, that's, that's in your mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stick, hold on, stick with me real quick. Stick with me real quick. Because in your mind, it's not permanent. But somebody who's grieving a lot of loss, because she experienced a lot of loss. And it doesn't take away from anything that, you're, that you experience. Because I know this could seem one-sided, and I don't want that to feel one-sided. Because I know what it is to be an artist, artist. I know what it's like to feel like, as I'm trying to hustle, I'm quitting my job. I know that feeling. And you're both experiencing that. So I don't want to minimize what you're going through. But I also want to acknowledge from the facts that I do have mm -hmm. that she has experienced a lot of abandonment mm -hmm. and tragedy. For someone to die and for someone to walk out of your life, you have to grieve those things. Mm -hmm. And you blocking her is just a third thing that she has to grieve of where she feels abandoned. So, Karamo, you know what? I didn't actually think about that. So I'm going to be real. I apologize. You're right. Before even hitting the block button, because normally I do this. I'd be like, I'm blocking you for a minute. And I need a couple days. But I didn't do that this time because I assumed you would know my thoughts. And I always say, nobody in here is a mind reader. You don't know my thoughts. So I do apologize about not communicating with you about that. Thank you. Thank you. That's big of you. <laughs> the boundaries got mixed up in this. And unfortunately, when you do business with friends, yeah. sometimes if the boundaries aren't clear from the beginning, things get mixed up. Yeah. I think y'all was a valuable lesson here. You can't let the business come between the friendship. You know to cut the, friend, the business now, cut the business, but now it's about you two setting new boundaries as friends. Are you ready to rebuild this friendship? She yeah. want a hug, look at her. She like, I'm you a You want a hug? hug? Oh my God, I am a hugger, y'all. Yeah, give her a hug. <laughs> Hold on, where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe, and right here to watch more, period.